Uh, and uh, yeah, him, John being in camp is the same as it always has been when he's in camp. Danny Gafolin here for pro boxing fans. We're at the Mazuma Stadium in Morecambe. Pleasure to have with me trainer Tyson Fury, Sugar Hill Stewart. Sugar, I'm not sure if you've ever been to Morecambe before, but uh, how do you let find me, it? Let me just help you out for now. For, let me just start you off. I'll do the intro. What's your name again? Danny. 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 Welcome to Morecambe. Welcome Thanks, Sugar. To my Morecambe. We'll talk about here. Here for Tyson Fury, obviously. Looks like we actually are going to get a fight, despite what some of Tyson's detractors might have said after the cut. How has it been? Obviously, he set up there. He had a couple of days of feeling a bit down in the dumps, but he seemed in as good a form. Said one day he was down in the dumps, and then when the fight was made again, like he was okay. He's like, you know, he knows things happen for a reason, so uh, he wasn't that down. I mean, yeah, down, but same as me, we all, but nothing where it was like, oh, life's over. This is the end. What am I going to do now? Uh, it's just like when you, you, you're ready for something and you don't have it. So yeah, like you, you go out to a restaurant, you're ready, you, they tell you, uh, yeah, the special today is steak. Steak and potatoes, and you say, all right, I want to order that. And then they go out, they come back about 10 minutes later, and they tell you, you know what? 86 that, no more steak left. One of those things, like, oh. You've got me hungry, sugar, I'm starving. <laughs> I know I'm hungry, but anyway. Yeah, I mean, so. Listen, it was nothing to beat himself up about. It wasn't his fault. It was nobody's fault. It's something that just happened. And uh, you just move on. If you keep pondering on it and thinking about it, trying to make it into something which is not, he had no control over it. Uh, it's a part of boxing. It's, it's a part of pr preparing for a fight. You have to do sparring. And, uh, yeah, a, a cut can occur. You can actually get a cut from doing pad work. Sugar, what do you make of some of the conspiracy theories that people were coming out with? That I love them all. <laughs> Keep bringing them. That keeps everything exciting. The more people can think of, the better. But everybody's got their own different opinions, so the more different opinions and conspiracies out there, the more people are tuning in. You've been in boxing a long time. Have you ever heard of anyone intentionally injuring themselves to get out of a fight? Sure, why not? I'm sure it has happened. Why not? That would be, so what's one of those things they say, if you can conceive it in your mind, you can achieve it. So if somebody conceives in their mind to injure themselves, then yeah. You're, you've done a lot of interviews, so a couple of quick ones. Uh, I seen some, there was a lot of talk of how this fight will play out stylistically. Uh, John Fury says he's Britain at a chess match. I saw Tony Bell, you say Tyson only has a puncher's chance against you. So do you think that's a bit harsh? I think it's all true. Whatever they say is true, uh, because it is. It's, it's about, you, you don't know until you get in there that night. Anything could happen. Uh, what was it? Uh, Evander Holyfield and Riddick Bowe? Who would have thought the fan man would have dropped in? Anything can happen. Just have to wait for that night. So, um, listen, that's what makes it exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. If you knew it was going to happen, nobody would be watching. And last one from me, uh, John Fury, Tyson's dad, now a part of the camp. How's it been having John? Uh, what's his role specifically uh, in the team as you prepare for the fight with Yusuke in May? Uh, it's, it's been uh, the same as always with John in camp. He's always going to voice his opinion, and, and he's going to always want the best for Tyson. That's his father, and uh, Tyson enjoys John being there. That's his father, uh, and uh, yeah, him John being in camp is the same as it always has been when he's in camp. So yeah, it's nothing different. I know it's uh, it may be it may be different when people hear it. As it's something different, or something spell, or something's got to be changed, or something's awful, or something's better, or whatever. But it's the same as it always been when he's around. Uh, we all want the best for Tyson, and we all gonna do whatever it takes for him to be the best, and compete, and come out on top. Have there been any disputes or arguments with John? As you say, he's not scared to voice his opinion. And that's what everybody's asking. That's what everybody wants to hear. Uh, but I've already stated, it's the same as it always has been. So. Uh, Everyone not being there in camp has their own opinion, so I don't really care about their opinions and, and trying to convince them in something different. If they want to feel, if they feel something, if they, if they feel it's like that, then fine, it's okay with me. We're all, well, listen, we're all in the camp together, so we, act, we all actually know what's going on and what's not going on. Sugar, I appreciate you speaking to me. I know you've done a lot of this today. I'll let you go. Thanks very much. All right, you're Cheers, welcome. Sugar, I appreciate it.